hi everyone in this video we are going to migrate our namecheap website into our hostinger control panel i have newly purchased this hostinger account and hostinger hosting so now we are going to migrate our namecheap hosting into hostinger so we are going to move our domain uh, we are going to point our domain uh, into hostinger as well as we are going to migrate our namecheap website here yeah. so let's get started first of all we need to set up our hosting because i have newly purchased this so we need to have some basic settings so just click on setup while you are on h panel hosting account so after login you will see this uh, area so just set up so i'm going to start now so i i will say skip for personalized experience and create a new bread or migrate my website so i will select migrate and i will say transfer or upload website so i will select upload so here is the choose file so but i am going to skip that so claim free domain use existing domain so here i am going to select an existing domain because i have already uh, a domain that is uh, on godaddy so i am going to point here so basically bridal accessories uh, is my domain so i have added my existing domain so if you have uh, not have any domain so you can just why not but i am going to add my domain because i am going to migrate from namecheap so i'm going to click on continue now you can see uh, they are saying to update the dns uh, details into our you know domain so we need to add these required name servers are these and for now these are name servers so we are going to here in that and click on domain so here is our domain so i will just click on manage dns to point any domain into any hosting account we need to update the dns so that's why we need to update our dns here or you know change the name servers so this is already you know necessary to uh, point any domain so i we are going to point godaddy domain into hostinger so we need to point it and change the name server so just click on change, change name servers so basically the already name servers are pointing to namecheap so we are going to point it into hostinger so just copy that name server one and put into the name server one and just copy that sorry name server two and paste here and just click on save changes keep in mind the name servers take 22 24 to 72 uh, hours to update so don't be hurry so you need to just wait for you know few hours that while the dns update so just click on continue we have just put our in details and just finish setup now it will take few seconds or few minutes to finalize the setup so we need to wait that while it is uh, finishing the setup uh, we we can uh, you know check the dns for our website or domain so i'm going to put here and just click here and ns so you can keep checking your dns while dns will be updated your domain will be pointed to any host or hostage so just click here search and you can see this is still pointing to namecheap server so uh, we need to update so it will be updated within few hours and uh, after that uh, it will be pointed to completely into our hostinger account also while it's preparing dashboard so now you can see it is still preparing it will take few minutes more so we go go here into our you know namecheap control panel so this is the control panel of namecheap whenever you will log into your control panel you will see it looks like this so just click on a file manager uh, i'm not wasting your time to you know start in the start so here is the our domain that was the data of our domain basically this is the wordpress website so that's why this is the wordpress data so i'm going to you know compress all and download this data so i'm going to click on select all and just uh, here i'm going to click here press and here you can see zip to your file so just click on zip file so it will compress our you know data into a zip file and then we can you know uh, upload or migrate our data into our hostinger account very easily hey you can see our website data is compressed you can see it is 1.7 gb data 
so we are going to download this just click here and download this data because this is very huge file it will take few minutes or a few hours it can take an hour to download so i'm going to start it will take few minutes while after uh, you know you, this data is being downloaded and just go back and in that now you can see there are a lot of files so here in the wp config we are going to detect the data database of this website because i have many websites in my you know uh, for uh, account so i'm going to detect the database name so here is the database name brtl so this is the basically the database name so i'm going back and here we need to find the php my admin and php my admin uh, we can download the data uh, or database also here is the php my admin so i am going to uh, click on php my admin in the php my admin uh, we have already seen that you know database name here in the wp config file so here uh, this is very easy so this is a bit you know uh, technical but we can do it easily so here the database name is brdl so here is the brdl so here is the br dl so here this is the better you know br dl database name so i'm going to click on so export and here is the sql file so just click on export so the database is also downloading so it will take few minutes because the database may be 10 mb 20 mb so the database has been downloaded so the files are being downloaded so these are it will take few minutes more so i'm going to pause this video while it is downloading now our website data is successfully downloaded you can see and as well as our database is also downloaded now we go back into our you know hostinger account now you can see our you know hosting is also ready to manage if you see here this is also ready to manage files and if you go html our hosting is here and the manage button is editable now now we go back again into the dns checker and let's check our dns of our domain so is it updated or not i'm going to search again so now you can see in some of cities the dns is being updated but in some of cities or countries the dns is not updated so it will take more time to update so while it, it takes the time to update the dns we do other things that is necessary so here in the hosting just click on manage here you can see there are two options uh, file manager and databases so uh, first of all uh, we need to you know go into plan details these are plan details and so on so here is the file manager so here uh, domain is not connected so if i click here so it will be connected because uh, it takes you know dns change take up to 24 hours so you know so this is uh, basically it's as large so don't worry about that so here uh, in the file manager we are going to upload our files of our you know website so here you can see public html and do not upload here so it is the public html so just click on public html so this is the default.php so we need to delete this default.php because we don't need that now we are going to upload our file which is the backup of our you know wordpress website so just click on file and here in the downloads uh, the uh, the compressed file that is we you know recently downloaded by us so just click on upload so it is taking few minutes or few hours to upload you can see this is you know uploading the file so it can take more time so we are going to pass the video again now our website files has been uploaded successfully now i'm going to here click here and click on extract because uh, the file is you know the public html you can currently navigate into public html so keep in mind it should be in public html so just click it here extract and uh, the folder name is asking for the folder name so i will say uh, wordpress for now we are going to extract in folder a wordpress folder now you can see our data has been extracted and all the files are extracted so now we go to the domain and check that domain is pointed or not uh yeah the domain is pointed so it's saying that error establishing database because we have not created a database or not uploaded our database yet so now the files are accepted and it means it's working because it's showing this error that database is not connected so now we are going to create a database 
as well as uh, upload our database here so now if we go back here and here you can see there are, is a table that has database as well as the other options so just click on databases and here uh, again and it will take a few seconds to upload so here you can see uh, there is a dashboard where you can create a database as well as so here we are going to name it a database so i'm going to name it z and username z and i am going to add a password here as well as so here here i'm going to generate a password so here is the password for the database now before uh, clicking on create i will go here and click on wp config and click on edit so here in the edit file just go here and uh, now we need to add our information here because we are going to use the database so here you can see database password so just paste here the database password and just click on create because uh, we can forget uh, before uh, adding the database into the table into the file so now you can see the mysql database so just copy that database as well as and here the database name db name and just paste here the db name as well as the uh, uh, database user just copy that database username and as well as paste here the database username here so now just click on save changes now our database has been created as well as connected with wp config file now the lastly just click on php my admin now we are going to upload our database remember we were uploaded a database file as well as our and you know files file uh, with the data of website so now the finally we are going to upload our database file into our php my admin now i am going to mention that if someone want to migrate their website and want to move their website then contact me the information in for connecting is uh, provided into the description of this video. let's back to the topic now here in the database uh, in the database we can uh, upload the database that we have uh, downloaded so i go back into the downloads and here you can see this is the database that why i was downloaded so i will just drag and drop here drag and drop just drag and drop and now you can see it will take few seconds to import database uh, into the file now you can see this is success and if i refresh there there you will see the tables of uh our data so now we go back and refresh our domain now we will see our database is also connected and files are also imported so let's see if there is any, any error we can resolve that so now you can see the website has been refreshed and <laughs> removed successfully now you can see the migration is successful and uh, if i click here right accessories and other pages so it's navigating to the pages it means this is successfully you know uh, moved so if we check the dns and uh, in, the, in the dns checker uh, we can check the dns because we verify that is it uh, you know uh, appearing on our current server or not so if i click here ns and just click on search and let's see is it yeah it is on uh, our hostinger account and hostinger hosting dns so the website is appearing on our so I hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel and hit the like button as well as the notification button to get the notified all the new videos and if you want to migrate your website by us you can contact me via email or whatsapp given below so I have provided my description uh, you know contact in the uh, description so you can contact me if you want to uh, get any website done by me or uh, what I do my business.